Welcome back, my friends. By now, you know that Elon Musk has been ordered by a Delaware judge to complete his purchase of Twitter. If you have not already heard the news, Elon Musk has now said that he will fire 75% of all Twitter employees. That would leave Twitter with only a skeleton crew. How could Twitter operate successfully with these few employees? And, if it can operate with only 25% of its employees, why isn't it already? Maybe only Elon Musk can make it happen. Things are going well for Elon Musk these days. Tesla just announced its vehicle delivery numbers for Q3. They delivered 365,000 vehicles during the third quarter of 2022. That compares to 258,850 vehicle deliveries in Q2 of this year. That is an improvement, but somewhat disappointing to Wall Street analysts. So, what does this mean for Twitter? What does it mean for Tesla? What does it mean for the economy? And, what does it mean about the future of the United States? But, before we get into all of that, please press the like button and leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Elon Musk said that he is going to lay off most of Twitter's employees. That is, if and when he actually closes the deal to buy Twitter. Musk made this statement to prospective investors in his Twitter purchase deal. As things stand right now, Twitter has 7,500 employees. Of course, pretty much everyone expects job cuts at Twitter after the takeover. But, the magnitude of Musk's prospective layoffs are far more extreme than expected. Musk has always discussed layoffs at Twitter. But this is the first time that he has actually put a number on the layoffs. A 75% headcount cut would indicate, at least out of the gates, stronger free cash flow and profitability, said Wedbush analyst Dan Ives. That would be attractive to investors looking to get in on the deal, continued Ives. That said, you can't cut your way to growth, Ives also said. Such a drastic reduction in Twitter's workforce would likely set the company back years, noted Ives. Of course, lots of experts are sounding the alarms. Even Twitter employees are warning that pulling back investments will hurt content moderation and data security. That could backfire on Twitter and its users. Twitter might quickly be overrun and dominated with harmful content and spam. If you recall, Musk initially offered to buy Twitter for $44 billion back in April. But, shortly thereafter, he tried to back out of the deal accusing Twitter of having too many fake spam bots. Twitter sued to force Musk to complete the deal at the agreed price. And, the lawsuit was set for trial this fall. But, a Delaware judge ordered Musk to complete the deal. And, now, the deal appears ready to close after Twitter shareholders approved the sale. If the deal is not closed this month, it will go to trial in November. Musk briefly touched on the Twitter deal during his Q3 Tesla earnings call. I am excited about the Twitter situation, Musk said. I think it's an asset that has sort of languished for a long time but has incredible potential, he said. Although obviously myself and the other investors are obviously overpaying for it right now, the long-term potential for Twitter in my view is an order of magnitude greater than its current value," Musk continued. We're looking forward to a record-breaking Q4," Musk said during the earnings call. Knock on wood, it looks like we'll have an epic end of year," Musk also added. Tesla has excellent demand for the fourth quarter and expects to sell every car that we make for as far as the future as we can see," Musk noted. Musk also said, Tesla could far exceed Apple's current market capitalization. I see a potential path for Tesla to be worth more than Apple and Saudi Aramco combined," Musk continued. Now that doesn't mean it will happen or that it'll be easy. In fact, I think it will be very difficult and require a lot of work, some very creative new products, mass expansion and, always, luck," Musk pointed out. Tesla has a great product portfolio, including some of which you've heard about, some of which you haven't," Musk also said. Deliveries of vehicles represent sales data for Tesla. And although Q3 deliveries of 365,000 was impressive and a record for Tesla, it still fell a little short of Wall Street analysts' expectations. Tesla noted that they delivered 19,935 of the higher-priced Model S and X models. So 345,988 of the vehicles delivered during Q3 were its more popular Model 3 and Model Y. Total vehicle deliveries were up substantially from the prior quarter of 2022. Tesla said it made 258,580 vehicles in Q2 of this year. 
That Q2 number is up just slightly from Q3 vehicle deliveries of 254,695 vehicles in 2021. But, this year, Tesla is operating double the number of factories as compared to 2021. In 2021, Tesla had only the Fremont, California factory and the Shanghai China factory operating. Now, Tesla has the Giga Berlin factory and the Giga Austin factories up and running. Although the new factories are not really up to full-scale production yet. And, the Shanghai Giga factory has been beset by COVID lockdowns that have hobbled the Chinese economy. Production of the more expensive Model S and Model X vehicles is up by more than 100% as compared to Q3 of 2021. Last year, Tesla delivered only 8,491 of its S and X models during Q3. The Model S and the Model X are the more expensive stylish sedan in the SUV with Falcon wing doors. Tesla has had to deal with skyrocketing commodity prices during 2022. There have also been some severe growing pains at Giga Berlin and Giga Austin. Tesla also shut down the Giga Shanghai factory this summer in order to make some extensive upgrades. But, full-scale production at the Giga Shanghai factory had rebounded during August. In keeping with the rest of the big tech companies, Tesla laid off an entire AI office at the end of Q2. Other undisclosed layoffs were also made. Tesla has announced that it is enforcing a full return to office policy for all of its employees. CEO Elon Musk is requiring that all Tesla employees work at a Tesla office at least 40 hours every week. This applies to all employees, even those who previously worked from home. Certain employees were fired and others chose to resign following the announcement. Informal and anecdotal reports are saying that Tesla offices were crowded and uncomfortable during Q3. So, employees are suggesting that it was difficult to get any work done at some of the Tesla offices. August was a record month for the Fremont factory in terms of production, said one Tesla executive. The Giga Austin factory reached an important milestone of 1,000 cars per week production rate. But Tesla still faces headwinds from many directions. One particular challenge is skyrocketing commodity prices. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has said that the company may need to get into the lithium refining business. Tesla is investigating the possibility of a building its own lithium hydroxide refining plant. The plan calls for the facility to be located somewhere on the Gulf Coast of Texas. Tesla could start building the refinery in the fourth quarter of 2022 if its application is approved by the state of Texas. Full-scale lithium production would take two years. Tesla does not want its supply of its lithium and battery production to be held hostage, said Musk. Right now, over half of the lithium in the world comes from China. The federal government is concerned about China dominating the world's supply of rare earth metals, such as lithium. Tesla is not the only car maker whose future lies with electric vehicles. General Motors CEO Mary Barra has announced that the company will transition to an all-electric product line. Rival Ford Motor Company has also announced its intention to convert its entire product line to electric vehicles. Ford already sells the F-150 Lightning pickup truck. It also sells the Mustang EV. But, what do you think? Please leave a comment below and press the like button. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.